do we mean what we say when we say that there are fundamental human rights? You know, do we really mean that? You can't detain people without trial. You can't hold people in secret. Why can't you do these things? Well, simply because all those things do is they all lead to torture. We began to use torture for the same reasons that every single torturing government has always used torture, which is to coerce confessions from people. The torture regime was a worldwide systematic and pervasive regime. It was not confined to a handful of high-value detainees. It was not about waterboarding. It was a whole range, a whole litany of techniques. We know which specific in individuals attended White House meetings with Dick Cheney and George Bush and Condoleezza Rice and Colin Powell and John Ashcroft where these techniques were ordered. They're the ones that we have to hold hold accountable. And in fact, they're, the, they're our elected officials. We can hold them accountable and we must hold them accountable. The first thing we need to do is just know the story. One of the most significant problems that we have is that media institutions are failing. The collapse has left this massive hole where investigative journalism used to flourish. The Torture Report is really a, an exploration of all of the documentary evidence about the Bush administration's torture policy. The ACLU has excavated through Freedom of Information Act uh, litigation about 130,000 pages of formerly secret documents. It's an enormous trove of evidence of the torture program, of who was tortured, of who was responsible for designing and orchestrating the policies, but it's almost too much to, to sift through without some kind of a map. So really the torture report is meant to build a narrative, a readable narrative out of the document. So to have a document that does that in, a, in an easily accessible um, and, a, and, and a narrative focused way I think is absolutely vital. There's uh, room for the public to comment at the end of, of every section that's posted. The collaborative nature of the document means that it will be probably the most reliable document. We've heard conflicting accounts of what we did, conflicting opinions about whether or not it was torture, certainly contradictory contradictory statements about whether it worked or not. But the fact is, the documents now are there that help us answer these questions. And I think for all of us as Americans, it's important for us to know what happened. All of the safeguards and checks and institutions that are designed to ensure accountability for high-level criminality have failed. And so the ultimate and last check is with the people. There needs to be a real outcry so that political leaders and political elites know that there's a substantial part of the public angry about the lack of accountability and demanding that there be real accountability.